Okay, so I spent almost a thousand dollars testing Pinterest ads for my small business for two weeks with the help of a Pinterest marketing agent or manager, actually like from the Pinterest marketing team. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the results. And I guess from that, you can figure out if Pinterest ads are worth it or not. Hey, it's Mariella. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where I show you everything that I am doing to continue to grow my small business, whether it is working or not. And before we get started, please be sure to give this video an early thumbs up if you wanna see more videos like this. And of course, smash that subscribe button. Okay, so I literally spent a little bit over $900 on Pinterest ads because I was so tired of Facebook ads and all the changes that are, that are going on with the whole iOS 14 updates. So I'm like, okay, I need to find new ways to market my small business besides Facebook ads and influencer marketing. So I started looking for other apps where I could potentially start running ads. So I decided to try out Pinterest. And I, when I was trying out Pinterest on my own, I actually had a marketing agent from the, the Pinterest team reach Reach out to me and tell me that they actually offer help um, if I don't know much about Pinterest ads they could actually set it up for me which I thought it was amazing because I didn't want to have to learn Pinterest ads from scratch like I did Facebook ads so I got in touch with them and together we set up a campaign so I am going to tell you straight off the bat that Pinterest ads were not profitable for me at all like I was so excited about Pinterest ads because like the marketing team told me like Pinterest ads is a great place um, to run ads because 47% of people that go into the app every day go with the intention of finding an inspo and buying something which I thought it was amazing because I was like oh my gosh and that literally means that half of the people that I'm going to be hitting or reaching are literally going to be most likely to buy than as of like other apps from like Facebook or Instagram or TikTok. I'm like, that sounds absolutely amazing. And currently, Pinterest ads are like one of the cheapest type of ads that you can run. So I was just so excited for this. Okay, so we ended up setting up a campaign um, which we ran for about a week and it wasn't working. And then we set up another campaign or we made changes to the existing campaign, which we let run for another week. Pinterest ads are the same thing as Facebook. People would tell you like to not turn off the campaigns right away. You have to let them optimize. So essentially that led to me testing Pinterest ads for two weeks and by the end of the two weeks I was just like listen I have spent almost a thousand dollars and I have seen no results so I decided to stop the campaigns so let me go ahead and show you guys what this looked like okay so here we are in the reporting page of the Pinterest ads manager I don't know how they call it that's how they call it on Facebook um, and you can see we had three different campaigns. So the first campaign that I have set up myself was a lookalike campaign using my email list or my subscriber list from my Shopify website, which I thought like, say if the same thing as Facebook, like let me run a lookalike campaign, which eventually the Pinterest marketing agent told me that lookalike campaigns are not as, as effective on Pinterest as people swear by them on Facebook. So we essentially decided to turn that one off after I had already spent a, almost $180 on it. So I was just like, okay, whatever, because literally I spent $180 and I got like no results from them whatsoever. Um, and then on Pinterest, you have, you can run campaigns with keywords and with interest. So it's kind of like on Facebook, like on Facebook, you could run them with interest, but on Pinterest, they have like this other thing that you could do with keywords essentially. So we decided to set two of those up. So we did a keyword and an interest only and this is like literally them running for two weeks straight so I'm just gonna show you guys like the whole thing like and honestly these numbers are very surprising to the point that I couldn't believe that I get I didn't get the results that I wanted from them okay so this is one campaign and then you have the different ad groups so it was the email list the keywords and the interests so this is the amount spent with a total of 902 I actually there was another campaign that I was running before uh, which I did spend some money on that as well so technically I did spend like a full $1,000 and these are the actions. Um, actions, I'm not really sure what they mean, so I, I will be skipping over that. But cost per click, it was pretty awesome. Like a click like for 25 cents, 71 cents, or like even a fraction of a cent, 
like that's unheard of i know like on facebook my cost per click will be like a dollar sometimes even two dollars so this was actually pretty awesome and i was very surprised by the amount of impressions like literally the total of impressions from spending almost a thousand dollars was like over two hundred thousand impressions i think that's pretty darn good um, then this is like the cusp per 1,000 impression, which I, I think this is actually really good too. Like with $5, you could reach 1,000 people. On Facebook, I'd be reaching 1,000 people with like $30. So that, this is damn good. So then you have the gross pin clicks, but that's not what I was most worried about. What I was most wor worried about was outbound clicks because outbound clicks are the clicks that actually end up on your website so I mean I was pretty impressed by this as well there were a little bit over 1200 outbound clicks which means that was 1200 people that ended up on my website like I thought that was awesome but then the total conversions which was the most disappointing only four conversions for a total of a hundred and forty four dollars and fifty cents That's freaking horrible, guys. I mean, like, I literally spent almost $1,000 and only made back $145. Like, that is awful. <laughs> so, I mean, I was literally so disappointed on these results, especially because I was working with someone from the Pinterest team, so I thought, like, they know exactly exactly what they're doing so it's not I didn't think it was gonna be like Facebook like I have done so much trial and error on Facebook like trying to figure out what is what would be like the best strategy but because I was given this strategy by Pinterest themselves I really thought this was gonna be profitable like I was so excited like I really thought Pinterest was gonna be like my bread and butter you know so this test was actually right after I had tested Facebook for the first time ever as well but I mean I've tested Facebook, same thing, for about two weeks. I spent $1,300 testing Facebook, but I did get $900 worth of sales, you know? So I didn't break even, but at least it I made some money back. <laughs> Whereas Pinterest, I spent $900 and I only made $145 back, which, which it was only like four sales. So I was pretty disappointed. So after I tested Facebook and Pinterest ads and I wasn't getting the results, that I wanted I did go back and I made a lot of changes to my website and I have recently started testing Facebook ads again and the conversion rate on my website has skyrocketed so I am thinking about testing Pinterest ads again um, you know since I made these changes to my website so I don't know you guys let me know what do you think should I give it another shot like based on these numbers and on the amount of traffic that it actually generated to, to my website I mean $900 for 1200 people going on your website like I think that is absolutely amazing it's just really disappointed that only four of those 1200 people converted i mean i did get a lot of new people on my email list so like that i think that is always a positive that you can still um target those people even if they don't buy anything because they do sign up for your email list so i don't know because i was so hopeful this was going to work but clearly it did not so at this point i am in the back of my mind blaming my website like maybe my website just wasn't good for conversions but I mean I might try them again let me know what you guys think if you guys want me to try it again I will and same thing I will come back to you with results other than that guys that is all I have for this video please be sure to give this video a thumbs up hit the subscribe button comment down below do you want me to try Pinterest ads again because you know I would and let me know any other platforms that you guys think would be awesome for me to test out ads in um, to see if it would work for a small business so drop all that in the comments down below if you want to check out my small business the link is down below as well grab you some skincare <laughs> and yeah I will see you guys on the next one bye